rocking chair. Playing John Hurt in a rocking chair. Mississippi John Hurts, lay me a pallet on your floor. Let's do it. Sleep a dee doo dee doo doo. Mike's music method. In this video, you will learn John Hurts, make me a pallet on your floor. And explore Jethro's bedroom. So I got sick of my basement because there's no windows. So I stole my son's room and I kicked him out. It's nine at night. He's not allowed to sleep in the crib. Instead, there's a mic stand and a guitar on the floor and a keyboard and a, an heirloom rocking chair, a teepee, a changing pad, a lamp, some fun books and some toys, Jethro written in trains, Icelandic photographs. Pretty cool room, huh? I swear I'm a good dad. He's actually sleeping soundly with his sister in the loft bed. I think they're having a good time of it. So welcome to Mike's new and improved studio. I've spent so much money on this new music studio to bring you the, the high-end technology of this webcam and this perfected sound improved studio just for you subscribers. The most important part in learning this difficult finger pick song is to get yourself a handmade heirloom rocking chair. Oh, been in the family for centuries. I don't know about centuries, but I think my wife's grandmother nursed her infants in this rocking chair. Pretty amazing. So please don't continue this video unless you've got a rocking chair, all right? Prove to yourself that you're Ready and mature enough to take on John Hurt's Lay Me a Ballad on Your Floor. This song only uses three chords, C, F, G, but it's that John Hurt signature style that makes it so amazing. So let's get started. The intro is a C7 chord, right? C with your pinky down on the third fret of the third string. And it's just, that's it, just a little pickup beat before he starts the song. And a big thing we'll talk about in this song is all those little staccato hits, right? It's like where he's placing the beats that give it that like super happy punchiness. The next chord is an F chord. I use my thumb to play the lowest string. If you've seen my videos before, you're well aware of the shape. Second string is one, then above it is two, three. Thumb on the low one. We don't really play the fifth and the high E. I know some, some people are having trouble playing with their thumb. Another way, instead of doing the regular bar chord F, is you have that regular bar chord, but free up the pinky. So lift up your pinky, drop your ring finger down <clears throat> to the fourth string. Thanks, Gregory, for talking this through with me. My buddy Gregory doesn't, uh, he's missing part of his thumb. <laughs> so I was, I was giving, him, giving him crap, being like, dude, you gotta start playing with your thumb. And he's like, so. And, he, and then he busted out his thumb and he made me feel bad. Only a little bit. Um, so if you, if you can't, if you don't have a thumb <laughs> that, that reaches, or if it's just a pain to play that, play a regular bar chord, lift your pinky, drop your ring finger down to that fourth string, right? So we're not playing this fifth string, so don't worry about that, you know, this finger's not really barring it, um, right? If I play it, it doesn't sound like anything, but my thumb's gonna skip it. But at least this shape also frees up your pinky to do some melody stuff. I still prefer to use the thumb, but you don't have to, right? You can play it that way. Six and three. Four and two with my pinky down. Then lift your pinky. So just practice that. One, two, and. One, two, and. And my thumbs alone for the third beat. One, two, and three. Right, thumbs on the sixth string alone for that third beat. One, two, and three. Then the fourth beat is the thumb on the fourth string with the melody note on the third string. So these two together, four and three. it punchy especially on those when he's hitting that third string melody note staccato right to give it that cool feel he's also palm muting uh i don't know that i really discussed this at in detail or in length in any videos but the right hand you know like your karate karate chop the part where you would karate chop someone is um where you would break the wood that's the part that you want on the strings yeah 
chop, right where you would chop the wood. I know you're, you're a very strong karate chopper. So just take that part that's you know tender from all the wood you've been chopping and put that here. That's called a palm mute. And you just, and then you can play the melody. Happy. This next part is so cool. It's the Mississippi John Hurt butterfly. I call it the butterfly. We have this really neat uh, right hand fluttering happening. So it's this lot of back and forth between the index and the middle finger. Now I'm gonna break this down because it's very difficult. So what he's doing in the actual song with the thumb is it's a C chord, he's playing fifth, fourth, and then he's moving to the sixth. Right, he's moving that uh, third finger to the sixth and back to the fourth. So it's fifth, fourth, sixth, fourth, right, that walking bass. This is very difficult to do while you're doing that flutter. So if that's too hard, which I think it probably will be, it's, it's a very tricky passage for me even to play. And I, I, you know, if you listen to me doing the, that part at the beginning of this video, it's still, it's hard for me to do. I still even have to practice it quite a bit. So it's, um, to simplify, I would just maybe do that simple pattern between five and four. So I'll do that now and we'll just, just know that it's even more complicated. So we have this, uh, thumb alone, then fourth string together with the first. My pinky is down on that first string. So I'm getting that high melody note right there. Alone, then four and one together. Then the second string is alone on that M beat, or yeah, one, together is two, and on the second string. Thumb, thumb in middle, index alone. The next part is just the thumb alone on the fifth string, and then the high E string. One, two, and three, and one, together, and three, and... So, five and one, sorry, one, it's five alone, four and one, two alone, five alone, one alone. that down. Now we're going to add that. Thumb and on the second string. One, two, and three, and four, and one, together on two. Just a reminder, the thumb is always on the downbeat. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Right? Tap your foot. Well, what am I talking about? We're doing a John Hurt song. So you got a shoulder shrug. It's actually really hard to do. Don't do that. Just tap your foot, or nod your head at least. Now we're gonna add the next part to that. We have together on five and one. My pinky's down still. Then it's alone on the second string. Five and one together, alone on the second. Then same idea, but now it's thumb on the fourth string with one. And then two is alone. So five with one, two alone, four with one, two alone. down, five with one, two alone, four with one, two alone. Then we have same five and one, but my pinky is lifted. So I get a different melody note. And I put my pinky down immediately on the second string. So it's... with one with the pinky lifted then my pinky goes down on the second string third fret five with one then the second string with the pinky down back to
to the F chord, very similar as what we did before. Thumbs just jumping back and forth between six and four. Melody is four with two, pinky down. Melody alone there on one, so we lift the pinky. Then thumb alone on six. Then four and two together. So I think it's the same as before. I don't know if we started on the same note. Good to break it down again if it's different. Sorry. That's the first half. Here we start the next phrase with six and three. So we double up on that A melody note. So it was, this was the part before. Play that melody note again, six and three. And my pinky goes down right away here with four pinkies on the third fret, four and second string. So six and three, four and two, with my pinky down on the second string. Then I lift it right away again, that melody note. And that's alone, together, together, alone. Lift my pinky to get that alone. Sorry. Alone on the sixth string there. Then together, fourth string and third. Now we go to the C chord a second time, but instead of that excellent John Hurt butterfly effect, we have the John Hurt really cool syncopated pattern. It's rad, it's rad. So we'll break it down. Again, it's harder. He's doing this three note thumb pattern. We're gonna simplify for now. Just go back and forth between these two. Pinky is down, it's a C chord, but pinky's on the third fret of the first string. Similar to the C we did before, but it has a different ending. So alone on the fifth, together, fourth and first together. second string with my index finger. Thumb alone on the fifth, alone on the first. So fifth, four, one, two, five, one. But the rhythm there is one, two, and three, and four, and. So after the four, it's a second string. Five and one, or sorry, five, four, and one, two alone. Five, one, four, two. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one. Together is two, and three, and four, and one. Together, and three, and four, and. Remember, K is pause. J is backwards. L is forward, or use back arrow to go five seconds back. Front arrow, five seconds forward. Take your time, break it down into the smallest pieces that you can. Good practice habits, deliberate practice. Isolate and repeat. Take the smallest micro unit of the phrase and loop that, even if it doesn't sound very musical. And, and do it until it sounds good, even if that means doing... hundred times before you move on and I'm not exaggerating maybe maybe 700 times however long it takes do it slow and come back to the video when it's smooth but let's keep going here we have one together and three and four and then it's so that's the second half we have together five and one two alone Fourth is alone with the thumb. Then one is alone. And that's what's cool. Then you have five and one alone again. Five and one, two alone. Four, one, five, one.
those measures together. So rad with that thumb with the um, three note thumb pattern. This next phrase is amazing too. These John Hurt songs are, even though they're only like three or four chords, they're so incredibly rich. And I just realized I lied to you at the beginning of the video. It's a four chord song. Now we have E major. Sorry, I lied. Okay, so we have E. Here's the whole pattern. Here's the first half. We have together, six. So it's an E chord, right? We're just, the thumbs go back and forth between six and four. No fancy notes yet. Together on six and one, four alone. Right back to six. Together, alone, alone. One, two, and. Then six alone with a second string after it. Then together, four and one. Then alone on the second. Very cool syncopation. Second measure of that E chord, six alone. Then you lift your first finger on the third string and you hammer on. So six, then you lift the first finger, hammer on with your first fret. But at the same time, I've talked about this in another video. It's a tricky technique if you haven't gotten it down. I hit that open, that minor third on that third string. And when I hammer that first finger down, I'm also fretting the fourth string. They're happening at the same time. So I'm not picking the string I'm hammering. I'm hammering on the third string and picking the fourth. Gotta get a nice, strong hammer on. Aim way behind you, pretend you have to like, Hit that um, dresser behind me. Right, grab, hit, hit the baby's changing pad. Knock over the kid's teepee. Get angry about things. Break, break the, shatter the crib. Shatter the bars on the crib. All right, and then when you do that, your thumb's hitting the fourth string at the same time. And you want to practice getting the same or similar volume. You don't want that hammer on to get lost by your super loud thumb, right? And right after that, you do the first string open. Then the sixth string is alone. Then I'm putting my pinky down, third fret, second string, to make it an E7. are filled up. One and two and one and two and three and four. Both of those measures of E together. Give me down a pellet on your floor. Lay me down a pellet on your floor. Lay me down a pellet soft and low. Lay me down a pellet on your floor. Back to the F one more time, a different melody. We have together, six and one, or sorry, six and two. Then to 
together four and two with the pinky is down on the third fret. And then you lift it right away like we did before. So that go from three to one. So together, together, second string alone, sixth string alone, four and three together. And it's a similar beginning. But the ending, instead of four and three, you have four and two with the pinky down. So the melody was back to the high one at the end instead of the low one. One, three, one, two, one, three, one, three. One quick measure of C here. Again, it depends how hard you want to make it. I'm doing that three note pattern on C. Five, four, six, four, five, four, six, four, with the thumb doing all the work. First notes together are fifth and um, one, five and one. Fourth string alone. Then first string alone, but my pinky is down on that third fret melody note again. Uh, let's keep it simple. I'm just going to do that simple thumb pattern for now. That's it. Five and one together. Four alone. One alone with the pinky down. Then thumb, thumb. Make sure you're waiting until the last possible moment to put that pinky down, right? The tendency is to like put it down a little bit early when your thumb is playing, but right last possible minute right before I hit it. When that gets easy, then you can do the harder thumb pattern. tricky because as you're putting that pinky down you're lifting that ring finger up to go up there it feels awkward another gorgeous John Hurt butterfly moment cool it's just a G chord we're only using this for now just third fret, lowest string. Uh, same pattern with the thumb, right? Six, four, six, four, nothing crazy there. Let's break that down. Thumb alone. Then the second string alone. Then four and one together. And it's open, right? So it's kind of like a G6 or whatever you want to name it, right? No third fret, he's playing the open E. Thumb, second string, four and one together. Right back to second string alone. Six, two, four, one, two. Pause the video, practice. You got it. say the same thing again this next part has that signature john hurt uh it's a run this time 
So it's amazing about this guy. It's like every every phrase has some unique thing that no like no other guitarist is doing. Um, thank you guys. Whoever was suggesting to to learn this one and um, CC Rider. Uh, that'll be next on the John Hurt list. I think I've always liked the guy, but this is great that I'm like diving in and, and um, you know, I just learned like a couple songs passively in the past, but this is cool. So thank you guys for the suggestion. All right, so we're, we're almost done. This is the last little chord run here. So we have a C chord and we just have uh, thumb on five, third string alone, thumb on four, second string alone. That's it for the beginning. We have the cool run. Got that beginning. Wing part down. Then we just have the walking bass line. Third fret on the sixth string with that G. Third string with the index finger. Then I go to a B, second fret on the fifth string. Then the C, third fret on the fifth string with that uh, third string open in between them. Depending where you're at in the song, sometimes he does the pickup again. That very first C7 we learned at the beginning. But sometimes he doesn't do that. When he goes into singing, it's straight to that F. And that's it. I'm confused. Are you confused? It's only four chords. But I'm confused. There's so many different parts. Let's try to break it down slowly. See if we can piece this crazy thing together. Making popcorn for my family. Deedly dee, deedly dee. Making popcorn for my family. Deedly dee, deedly dee. Making popcorn every day. Doing these things every day. Deedly dee, deedly dee. That's our tempo. We start on the C7. Shoulder wag if you can. One, two, three, four. One, two. I don't know how to count a pickup. Three, four. Uh, three, If you got it down and you mastered it, there's a new technique you have to learn now and you have to relearn the whole song. And unfortunately, I'm not joking. So, what a lot of these blues guys do, not really so much folk, but those heavy-handed, dirty blues players, a lot of the times when they're doing that second and fourth beat of the thumb, right, they're hammering down, almost like they're using a pick and because and, they're hitting more than one string. So you have, if we're doing a C chord, we have fifth string alone. Then instead of just hitting that fourth string, they're often hitting the third with it. So you have that heavy accompaniment sound as well as the melody note on top, which is super cool. It's almost like you have a bass and a guitar and some melodic line, which is why 
John Hurt and all these Travis picking guys are so appealing. It's just big, full sound coming out of one guitar. I remember my wife early on in our relationship when I would play stuff, she would she would say, it was a great compliment. She's like, oh, I always thought when I heard that in songs, it was two guitars overdubbed. And she kind of never like saw someone actually, you know, do that idea where you got that going with a melody on top. Um, and that's the whole point of it, to create this very cool sonic illusion. So Hertz doing that, I, I don't want to say all the time, but now that you're aware of that, listen to the recording and you'll hear like that really heavy attack on that third and fourth beat, which gives it a really big sound and kind of you can be dirty with it too, depending on how hard you hit it. And especially on like a twangy steel string acoustic. So just to give an example of that, we have that. I can't even do it. Exaggerating the loudness and I'm sloppy, but you get the idea just that that really heavy-handed third and fourth beat like it's a snare drum pounding But not really like a snare drum at all <laughs> Like this <clears throat> Karate chop. chop Did you know I was gonna do it? Did you catch my gag before I did it? <laughs> Victory Sleep do 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 Mike's music method. We're doing all the dishes with our hands. Dee 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 dee. Is he in here? Is he in here?